Andrew, good evening, and thanks for your time. So tell me a little bit more, and I'm not going I'm, I'm to be ashamed to say that it's the first time I'm hearing about a WhatsApp stock file. When did this start, and, and who's starting these? Uh, it's a question that I also share. Mm. Uh, we all know that stock files have been in existence for many, many years. The stock files in general, yeah, yes. They have sustained families for many years. Uh, it's the new generation of uh, our population that is uh, coming up with new innovative ideas and all that. So the, the WhatsApp stock file is also new to us. Mm. But our interest is that uh, instead of calling it something else, they decided to call it a stock file. Yeah. So our interest is to educate people about what a genuine stock fail is so that we can dif dif differentiate it from other things. Okay, so what are, I mean, like you said, we don't know who's ex who actually starts this, we yeah. don't know, but what are they doing? Are they sending just random people, strangers? Uh, look, concepts? I can't talk for them, Mark. I'm, yeah. I'm not their spokesperson. But there's one thing well, I Just I what you know about them. Let, yeah. let me tell you what yeah. I can say. The, the buzzword around this thing is that people are joining. You see? In a typical stock fail, people do, don't just join, they form stock fails. Okay. So the people who participate in the WhatsApp stock fail are not the people who formed it. Okay. So a typical stock fail, people will come together with an idea of forming a stock fail with an objective of achieving something collectively. Yeah. Uh, to do that, they will ensure that they know each other very well. Okay. The basic tenet in a stock fail would be peer pressure and trust is very important because these, these are people who are drawn from the same community. Mm, mm. Uh, they will determine the rules that will govern that particular stock fail, uh, the number of people they are going to have in that stock fail, how much they are going to contribute per person, mm. uh, what is the time frame for that stock fail, uh, how often do they contribute, is it weekly, monthly, or fortnightly, regular meetings, I feature of a stock fail. If you join an existing stock fail, chances are that you need to be recommended by someone to be a member. Yeah. So I can't join a stock fail in chemistry of people I don't know. Yeah. So all these uh, characteristics that I've highlighted are absent in the, in the WhatsApp stock fail. Mm. So the people who contribute, the depositors, are faceless. The people who are recruiting people are also faceless. So how sustainable can this be? Yeah, I mean, and, and just reading here that, you know, from, from reports, people are, are making the payments and then the person or the administrator of the group seems to be disappearing. Now, I know of some people who, who say that uh, um, just, just discussions this afternoon with my team. So, you know, somebody knows somebody who's received one of these and saying, yes, my, my sister or my cousin received this and, and, and she got a thousand rand. But you may get that initially, yes. but of course, there's going to be a catch down the road. Yes. So I think that, that's what's trapping people into, into yeah, something it's a, like this. Yeah, it's, it's a mob psychology. Yeah. You, you know, it's a pyramid, you understand. There should be few people who benefit from it, who help the marketing and the advertising of that scheme. Okay. But chances are that those in the, in the, in the front, in the background, they will never get it. Okay, so Andrew, what is your final warning or word to anybody who, who might be considering or might have received a message or been asked to join? Yeah, I think the basic uh, warning would be that uh, anything that promises you to give you high returns in a very short space of time, it's very suspicious. You must look at it very carefully. Okay, but yeah. obviously I would say just don't join one because like you say, you need to know the people, you need to see them, you need yeah. to know who they are yes. and need to be in, in a smaller group. It's never going to be a WhatsApp group or anything yeah. that is done you know, via your phone or, or a website. Okay, so I mean really, it's, it's common sense I suppose, but you know what they say about common sense, Andrew. It's not as common as we think. Thank you very much, Andrew Lukele, National Stockfell Association of South Africa Chairperson, giving you sound advice there, just don't do it. Well,